Hi hey everybody, I'm Dominic Amoroso from MaxBigDIY.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how, how to put a level 5 finish on your drywall. Now what a level 5 finish is, you know, it has that number 5, so everybody wants to know, well, what's level 4? Pretty simple. One is the sheetrock, two is the first coat of mud, three, the tape, on top of that, on top of that, on top of that, until you get five different coatings, okay? But now, this wall is complete. This is brand new sheetrock and our nail holes are covered, our joints are covered. It's really ready for paint. But if you ever notice, especially on a new drywall when you go to paint it, well, your compound here and you sand it, it's nice and smooth. Okay, do you ever notice the difference when you go with the, with the paint that where, it's, where it wasn't uh, finished with the joint compound, it has a different uh, texture to it, right? Well, that's what the level five is. If you were going to uh, for a commercial building and you're going to say you have a lot of lighting coming down like the hi-hats and a lot of lightings well you, you can get uh, shadows throughout and you really get this to see the difference or if, even if you're using a higher gloss paint opposed to a flat paint so in this whole video I'm going to show you how easy it really is to make it all consistent okay okay Obviously, you can see where our joint compound is, and when we sanded our final coat on here, uh, well, we kind of rough up the paper just in general, okay? So the porosity of the paper and the joint compound are very different. So what we're going to do is just, again, put a skim coat. So we're going to be putting the joint compound that we use here all over the entire wall in a very simple method. First thing we want to do is get rid of any kind of dirt, dusting, you should use a nice brush, clean the wall, make sure you can, if you can see that dust, I certainly can. And any of the electrical boxes, make sure you get any kind of uh, dust out of that. Alright, the first thing we want to do, because we're going to be using a roller to apply this joint compound onto the wall. We want to use any kind of mixture. I got a hand mixer here, you can use the electric one, whatever you want. Okay, so we want to first mix it up. We want to thin this out now because, we're, like I said, we're going to be applying it with the roller. So you can see right here, it's kind of thick. So I want to add some water to it. All right, we added some water to it. And you can see it's dripping off pretty good. I think that's a good consistency of it. So now we're going to use our roller and we're going to go and apply it. All right, well, I like to start by applying it from the bottom up. And you want to get an area that, that might be a little too thin, actually, or not enough. You actually want to just do an area that's going, that you're going to be able to do over the next 10 minutes, and then go ahead and do the next area. All right, we got our joint compound thinned out and applied to the wall here and now using a nice straight knife real important okay i'm using a nice big one 14 inch so it doesn't take me forever to do this basically you just want to get it now if you notice though i didn't bring it all the way to the corner because i don't want to work crazy sanding and all that it's already got the joint compound on it so the consistency would be the same so basically what we're going to do is just take it back off okay so i just start and just Take it back off. Now don't throw the mud out, just put that back away. We can use that again, okay? And just take it back off. And that's why I like using a big knife. Look at that, a nice big white spot. So now, after you're done with this, you will be sanding it, just give it a light sanding with like a 220 grit of fine paper. All right, well we did this first area like I showed you. Basically what you're doing, you're putting it on, but you're thinning the joint compound. I thinned it a little too much for this purpose, so I might even want to do mine over again. But the purpose was to show you how to do it. Basically what you're doing, again, you're putting it on, and then you're taking it off. But keep in mind that you thinned it out with water. Um, over time, and not that much of a time, it will start to thicken up again. So you will have to, you know, depending on how, much, how big of an area you're doing, it's just uh, every once in a while I add a little water to it, mix it up. So after it dries, then you just use a, a just a, a pole sander, and then with, you know again with a 220 grit paper, and then just give it a quick sanding, make sure everything's all good, and there you go. So now this is consistent. We have joint compound all over the place. 
And now when we go to paint it, and if you have uh, like a lot of direct lighting, you know, we start to see those shadows. Uh, it's really make everything consistent, which is really good. And it also helps uh, any other imperfections that you might have. Anyway, that's how you do a level five finish. I hope you learned something. I'm Dominic from XBDIY.com. Thanks for watching.